Today we consider how to disable or enable form element, for example, input of type text using jQuery. Here we can enable or disable any form element using jQuery attribute or prop property. Let's consider one example here. As you can see, this is my solution, and inside form, I have one input of ID text input ID. The input is of type text. Now I'm going to enable and disable this input of type text using jQuery prop and attribute property. Here the version of jQuery is critical. If the version of jQuery is 1.6 or above, we have to use jQuery prop. Instead, if it is 1.5 or below, we have to use jQuery attribute. On my solution, I have included 1.6 jQuery version. Now on my web page. I am dragging it to the head section. Ok, let's save it and go to the script part for enable and disable this input of type text. Inside document ready, I have used a jQuery probe for disabling this input of type text. I have used a disabled equal to true. Let's save it and run this application. Yes, we got the output. If you can see, the text box is disabled right now. We cannot edit anything on this. So let's enable back using jQuery Pro. For that, we have to enable it back using disable is equal to false and comment the first line. Yes, now save it and refresh the browser. Yes, the text box is enabled back. We can edit anything on this. Same as the case, if you use jQuery version 1.5 or below, we have to use jQuery actor. For disabling the input, we have to use attribute disable equal to disabled. And enabling back the input, we have to use remove adder. What should be removed? Disabled attribute should be removed. So in this episode, we have seen how to enable and disable any form element using jQuery. We have used jQuery probe and jQuery attribute. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please visit technomark.in for more information.